Hey, what's going on guys and girls out there? Rhymes with Orange here with another Nerf unboxing and review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Nerf Zombie Strike Hammer Shot. Now, I'm extremely excited for this one because um, I've heard that it shoots really, really good and it's very light and that's my main thing is that I want something to be easy to carry and um, it shoots far. So I've been really excited for this one. It came out a long time ago, but of course, every time I go back to my Target, it's already sold out, which really stinks, but it's just the way that the cookie crumbles, but um, I finally got my hands on it uh, when I saw on the website that they said that they got new in stock. I ran over there as fast as I could, and I picked one of these up, and I was super happy that I got one. So uh, here it is. So today we're going to be talking about this. I'm going to do an unboxing. We're going to talk about it and how it works. I'm going to give my personal preference on it, and then we're going to do a firing test and see if it gets... Uh, I think it was 75 feet that this thing can get, 75, 90, something like that. Since it is Zombie Strike, it doesn't say on the front like the Nerf Elite ones. Um, but I'm guessing it's going to be 75 to 90 feet. So, uh, let's just take a look at the box. It's an open face box, meaning that you can touch the blaster through the cardboard. Unlike the other ones that I've done where you had to like cut it open and pull it out. Um, and it just shows you kind of all the features. Like you can spin the barrel and you can pull back the hammer. And um, that's why it's called Hammer Shot, is because it's supposed to work like a revolver, where you cock this back, and then you fire it, because this is called the hammer. Anyways, um, and it comes with five or zombie strike bullets. Uh, it looks like, are they A bullet or J bullets? Uh, so they don't really have to fit that snug in here, which is good. Uh, if you don't know the difference between all the bullets, A bullets are for open face guns, and J, K, and L bullets, I think, are for... Um, mag held ones. So let's take a look at the back of the box. So it shows lots of stats and stuff like that. And it says mission recon, target, zombie herd, locate, location, main, and third. And it shows you all these different things. And it's kind of like a storyline kind of thing to it. And um, yeah, I think that's all we have to say except that there's a Nerf, Nerf logo. There's a little cartoon guy doing, holding the gun there. Um, yeah, so let's just get into the box. So, uh, it looks like there's a big line of plastic going around this little rope here, so it's going to be a little bit hard to cut this. I think it's because since it's an open face box that it needs to be able to be cut. Alright, it, it has to be hard to cut because you don't want anybody walking up to it and just cutting it and walking away. And there's something that I also wanted to mention. There was this little tiny box back here. This little box just keeps sliding out. I'm not sure what it's for, but I just noticed that. And uh, so here's actual blaster. Now let's get the bullets out. Okay, we got five zombie strike bullets, plain ones. And I think, let me just see. Okay, I'm gonna... Alright, there are stencils and the manual. So this is just the empty, empty box. This is the manual, this is how everything works, and it shows you something about the stencils. So let me show you guys the stencils. So we have the Zombie Strike stencil, Nerf, or yeah, Nerf, a zombie, and the hammer shot. So you can basically what stencils are for is that if you've spray painted your gun and you've lost this little logo and you want to keep it, you basically find a place for it, you put it on there, and then you spray paint over this so only that little seam shows through and it shows the design. So yeah, that's the stencils. So um, let's talk about this gun. I really, 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 really like this gun a lot. It's very light already, I can tell. Um, I don't think it has slam fire, does it? I don't think slam fire really works for something like this. Um, but let me just see how easy it is to load. So, uh, just one, two, three. You could really have to nudge them in there so that they actually fit underneath this little plastic bar. And, and it looks like you can deactivate the fire. If you don't want to fire, you just hold this down, pull the trigger, and let it slide right up. So, uh, there's not very many features about this thing, except there's a tactical rail on the top here. There's, like, bandaging around the arm, and there's the rotating five-shot barrel. This has five shots in it. Um, there's no iron sights, there's kind of like a little notch right here, but um, other than that, this is a very simple gun to uh, design, I guess, and this is a easy one um, to fire as well. So we're gonna do a firing test and we're gonna see how that works. 
Okay, so uh, I've heard that this gun shoots really, 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 really far. So I'm hoping that it's going to hit the fence over there at the 75 um, line, I guess you can call it. So we're going to do three flat shots and two angled shots. So we're going to do a flat shot. Flat shot. Flat shot. I'm going to do angled. Angled. Wow. Holy cut. Holy crap. I was about to say there's another word. Anyways, so um just as you can see from the um just normal test, we have one bullet right here, and this is at the 30 foot line easily. Uh more than that probably, probably like 35. Now over here, there's another dart, and this one is hitting the 50 foot line. These ones are both the flat shots, which is freaking amazing especially for something this size and then there's one flat shot right here this little guy and that that is easily hitting the 60 foot mark and then this is one of the angled shots that actually hit the roof right above us and bounced off and then we have uh, the final dart way over here that bounced off of the fence so that means that that could have gone farther than 75 feet this is an amazing gun Holy crud, I've been wanting to have my hands on one of these for a long time, and it definitely paid off. Yeah, I think it's about $15, it is $15, $14.99, uh, for people who live in America, but people who live in Canada, I think it's a little bit more, I think it's like $2 more, um, but I'm not sure, and I just have to say uh, a few last things, we're going to do pros and cons, so, um, let's talk about cons, I don't really like the bandaging, it's a little bit uncomfortable, it's supposed to give it kind of like a zombie survival tech, um, type thing, uh, there are these little places where you can put like a string so you can hang it, but it doesn't really need to hang because you can buy a holster for it for like 10 bucks, something like that. And um, it's very light. That's what I really, really love about it. And um, pros, really like this up here. That is perfect. Needed it. Wish there was more tactical rails on the sides and on the tops and everything. But I think that's really all I have to say about the Nerf uh, zombie strike hammer shot this is a great gun you guys have to get it if you're one of those people who just is a heavy so when you go out to nerf wars and you just take lots of weapons with you this has got to be one of them so um yeah this has been the nerf zombie strike hammer shot and my name's Rams with orange and i'll see you guys in the next nerf unboxing see ya